The Petroleum Studies Unit at the University of the West Indies have embarked on testing on the Piparo mud volcano. Sachin Ramsabag tells us more in this report. The 1997 eruption of the Piparo mud volcano and frequent monitoring of the dome caused concern for residents. This issue is currently being addressed through resistivity surveys led by the University of the West Indies Petroleum Studies Unit PhD student Ms. Kunis Ramjari. Under the guidance of Professor O'Shane Blake, the team began their test nearly one week ago. But what do these tests actually do? So what this does is that we can see the extent of the mud flow, we can see different structures, we'd be able to see exactly where the mud is actually moving. They received support from the community-based Environmental Protection and Enhancement Program, CPEP, along with the Disaster Management Unit of the Princess Town Regional Corporation to clear grass and the trees to ensure accurate results are obtained. Ms. Ramjari says preliminary results indicate movement of the core area. The mud flow is actually progressing more towards um, a northerly direction and um, it has actually shifted approximately um, 24 meters. The Office of Disaster Preparedness and Management were also present to lend assistance in plotting the test and equipment. Although all data have not been collated, the PhD student had this to say. Um, there's no immediate cause for concern, I would like to say, based on preliminary um, results. We do see that shift. However, I would like to further analyze to be able to see if it's something that is concerning. The information gathered will add to the pool of data on this volcano. It also provides agencies with the knowledge required to ensure the safety of those living in this village. Sachin Ramsubag for TTT News.